Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and it is pretty big, so let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully we can get it all in. This is the second time me trying to record this, and my phone cut out on me, and ugh, I deleted a whole bunch of stuff, and I hope I just did not delete a whole bunch of videos that I hadn't uploaded yet. So, I'm just going to get started What's in what is in front of me, and then we'll go from there. So, now I'll do the stuff in front of me later. So, the first thing I want to show you is this was something I hadn't seen at my Dollar Tree yet. It's Home Smart. It's 100 wrapped straws. The reason why I picked these up is when we go out to eat, like to McDonald's, and they don't bring, give me my straws, and it upsets my son. So, that's the reason why I got it. Um, let's start here. I'm going to move that over that way because that's... This I found is Crafter Square. It's a self-adhesive stencil with a, like, animals and friends forever. I don't understand, quite understand why this would go with any of the other ones. Don't understand it. Don't know it. Don't know why. But, yeah. The drink of the day. Normally, I go into the Dollar Tree every day um, before I go get Zach off of school to get me something to drink. Yes, I could probably get one from home, but it's like I'm in the car for over an hour and I want something cold. So I just go ahead and met. Today's drink was this was yesterday. So was the Snapple Apple. I'm liking it. Um, it's good. I liked Snapple when I was a kid. But I will say. I love the bottles. These are what I've been trying to use my elves on. I rinse them out. I clean them out. And that's about the size my elves or my gnomes are. So, yeah. I will say they don't have as many flavors as they used to. The next thing I went ahead and picked up were these. And I know sometimes these are hit or miss depending on what they are. But I thought maybe this is unearth the surprise inside. I thought maybe it might be an animal or a figurine or something. So there's probably only one thing in it. But I was thinking maybe Zach for stocking stuff in or for, you know, just a happy day gift when he's, you know, or feeling blue and he just needs something. So they had a silver, a gold, and I know they have a blue. I just either, it's in a different bag, I don't know where it's at, or I didn't buy it. Can't remember. So... This is going to be sporadic. This is not going to be like, okay, all the crafter squares here, all that. It's not uh, because I've done this more than once. So the next thing I found were these. These are the Day of the Dead, like little um, trays. Um, I did pick up two, but I like how cool this looks. But what I like even better, and I... Really? I thought I already took this off. Is this what I was thinking on these, which would be cool. These are you really paint them like kooky and yuck. But look, look, if you guys did any kind of like, I don't know, you might be able to hot glue on it and make that thing like as a resin thing because it has a lip. You very well could. Um, I was thinking more if you, you know, painted the, like, black, black, and then had somebody or yourself drill a hole in the eyeballs and put lights on them. Creepy as hell at night on your wall. <laughs> exactly, right? All right, so I picked that up. I have no idea. Um, normally, I don't buy glue from the Dollar Tree because I had a lot of glue I found at Hobby Lobby for cheap. And I, I always see they have the colored glue, and it's the multi-pack. But my thought was, well, if I want just gold or just a certain color, and I run out, that means I have to go get a whole other one. The only ones I thought I would ever use would be um, gold and silver. Well, guess what they did? They have a full 15-pack of gold and a whole 15-pack of silver. I don't know if they're new or not. They are new at our store, at my store at least. So I thought that was kind of kind of neat and to sh to show you guys. Now, 
These we've had for a while, but I never realized they were different sizes until now. So they are the pearls. There are the floral garden ones. And these are the 10 mm's and you get an 80 count. The 12 mm's and you get a 60 count. And then you got the 14 mm and you get the 40 count. So the bigger they the bigger they go, the less you get, I guess. So there you have it on that. Why do I have other bags in bags? I don't get it, but that's just beside the point. So I went ahead and I picked up these. They're the LED tea light candles. Here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Any of these tea light candles, even if they're just the regular ones like this, they seem to go quick. Um, I had talked to my friend and... I had found some black ones like they this was just regular color but then this was black and she's like I've never seen them well I had seen them when they first did their Halloween stuff and I had picked up a couple so guys that's another thing I want to tell you sorry about the bag type thing because I'm not putting it back in the bag so if you ever want to find the LED lights I would pick them up when you see them because usually it's a couple months at least a month. I haven't seen these. Like I seen these about a month and a half ago. Picked several up, and then I hadn't seen them since. Of the colored ones, and then the same as the other ones. I always, when I see them, I just pick them up, even if it's just one pack or two. I normally do two packs because then you have four. So then, why I was out and about, and I haven't been doing a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and a lot of shopping at the Dollar Tree. Yesterday, my mom and I went. I was looking for a couple things. Did not find what I was looking for, but I will find them. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to stay away, trying to get everything ready for winter, helping my mom out to the barn, trying to get all that stuff set for winter. It's nasty here. It's like, I think the high today is like 53 Maybe 55. It's not going to be over 60. I'll just tell you that right now. And rainy and yuck. And it rained all day yesterday. So here, I found these. They are the foam dice. I had a lady a couple weeks ago when I went to the Dollar Tree with my mom. And she couldn't find these. And then when there was a craft she was going to do. And, I, and then I seen something on TikTok. I'm like, ooh, that'd be cool to have. And I was on the hunt for them. Um, found them. I went ahead and picked up one pack. Then I figured, man, I probably should have got more. But I didn't. But they are out and about. If you guys are looking for them, they will go quick. Just to give you that little key point. Alright. So, the next thing I grabbed, because this will go into my gnome kit type thing, is hair extensions for kids. I'm just going to show it like this. I use this for my girl gnomes when I... I do them. I don't do my girl gnomes very often. Um, I just like the boy gnomes. I don't know why. But I do do them. Um, I got pink, brown, green, and black in the hair. I also have orange left over from la last time when I went to Kokomo. And this I will keep in the bag because the hair gets all tangly and it sucks. Alright. Next creepy thing I found. Now nah, I won't do creepy yet. Yeah, I will. Is a bride and groom. I'm confused about this. This skeleton is about 13, maybe a little under 13. Okay, so legs move, they bend, you know, they do whatever. Arms, not so much. But if this is supposed to be the bride... Why does she got a bow? I don't understand. Okay. So I found this one. That was the third one I found. Then I found the groom. Now what this reminded me of when I first thought about it was Beetlejuice in the movie. You know? When they had their thing. Now I would have done something better with the bride. I'm just saying. But then I found her without the bow. I was like, what? So, 
if it was me, and I may still, I might get some more tool and mm, help her out. Just saying. Help her out, man. Maybe some orange. Something. Uh, went ahead and picked up some more of these for, if I don't use them this year, I have them ready for next year's Halloween. Found these again. These were last year. Okay, we've seen these last year. I got some last year. Used most of them. I have like five or six in a, in a container. They have new bones this year. They suck. They're styrofoam. They're not good. Um, my opinion, there are other people that have the same opinion as I do. That's all right. So this is last year's thing. I'm like, oh, so last year. I'm lucky to get them, right? Old package, new package. The only thing, I like the new package better. Just because it looks cuter. But I did realize, on most of the stuff that Dollar Tree does... They normally take it down, like the quantity. And this, they did not. 18, 18. Got two bags. Okay. Went ahead and picked up some ribbons. I have a Halloween collab slash swap and I figured I needed some of this for a couple of my projects then I did not have orange like Halloween orange for crepe paper rosettes so I went ahead and grabbed some of this and I will probably do the whole thing and then just store them that's the best thing to do and I have a new way of storing them because I don't keep them as big as most people are. That's how I'm going to say it. Okay. I have a couple other things. I, I'm going to be altering this. I found just a bigger, you know, pumpkin head. And it, it didn't work. It made me mad. Went ahead and junked it. So I got a couple of them to try and make sure that it works. Then I found... These went back to get some more for a friend. And these suckers, that was one day. I found these, went back the next day. Guess what? <laughs> they were all gone. They also have these blood, you know, like when you get your blood um, taken, they put them in them little bags. They had them as a drink thing, which was kind of funny. I didn't get them though. Um, at least I don't see them in here. Um, cupcake kit. I don't do cupcake rosettes, but I do um, put these in some of my Halloween kits. I just wanted them for my little dudes over here. I just, I cannot get the cupcake thing right. I did buy two packs of these. Um, not for sure what I'm going to do with them. I have a couple more things I'm going to grab real quick. And then we'll, we'll discuss a couple things. All right, so ended up getting this cute little cow. My house, once it's hopefully, I'm gonna knock on wood, um, will start next year. If everything goes right and the lumber hopefully goes down, all that stuff. Um, my uh, kitchen will be not all cows, but country farm themed. So that's going to be there. I have six different ones that's going to be like on my one wall that I'm, I got an image in your head, you know, and then it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Went ahead and found some more stickers. Like I need stickers like a hole in the head. Um, but I did find these. These were camping ones. I grabbed two of them. Okay. This I was going to crystallize, and then Zach wants it for his drink at Halloween, around Halloween at school. So I said, okay, I won't do anything with it until you're done with it. So went and done that. Found these. Have not seen these at the Dollar Tree. 
Uh, found these thinking for my gnome heads, the gnomes nose. There we go. Um, so we'll figure that out. Unsure of myself on that one. <sighs> okay, so I have no idea why I got it. I've seen people haul it. I'm like, I ain't gonna get that. And then when I seen it, I got it. Don't ask me why. I don't know. No. But there she is. Um, hmm. Don't know what I'm going to do with her. Don't like her color at all. Because she is more of a cream color than a white. So, unsure what I'm going to do just quite yet with her. But we'll see. Uh, see that is that all my Halloween stuff yes yeah, so I have a couple more fall things and then uh, makeup and then I'll have to pause so that I can move stuff out of my way then I went ahead and I found these and I was like woohoo yay okay and I'm like woman's five to nine I have big feet nines they're okay um it's not my shoe size I have to go up a couple and then I went to another one and I found these. These are men, these are women. Now here's my here's my only question. Women have big feet too. You have five to nine, you have six to 12. Why can't you put this at an 11? Hello, just saying. So I ended up picking up the men's side so then, you know, I have more room on my feet and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet. The next thing I grabbed was this, you know, it's nice and pretty and fuzzy and, you know, you can use it for that. You can use it for that. It will be, it will fly off your head if you do it this way. I'm telling you right now, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. Does anybody know what I'm going to use it for? Any ideas? Any ideas at all? Well, link down below. Let me know down below. All right. Oof. Give me a sec here and. Give me a second, and we had everything that we had to get going and all that good stuff. All right, next thing I have is just a little different. Um, hadn't seen them makeup wise. Um, they were the, they are, they were, hmm, no, they are the Maybelline Superstay Multi Use Foundation Stick. Okay, I found natural beige, buff beige, and an ivory. And there was some other kind, but I figured usually I'm a natural beige. Um, I know that for the simple fact of the reason I have a friend that does makeup. And depending on if I get a lot of sun in the summertime, depending on what I need to go darker or lighter. So I picked up them two. I think I picked up three. I picked up the other one and it's already in my, my makeup kit. Because I do have a big, huge makeup kit. So, yeah. The next thing was more... How do I want to say? Curiosity. This was hanging on one of them little strips. All-in-one portable razor. What the... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, curiosity. I opened it at my mom's house and started busting out laughing. Now I can't open it because my fingers won't let me. So, what this says. Missed the spot? Need a touch-up? Alright. And it's carry-on friendly. So you can put this on a plane. And it gives you directions. Like, spray skin with refillable water bottle. Lather with the pre-shave bar. Shave, rub, and remain lathered. Then it gives you a book of directions. And this book is literally, it tells you how to shave. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, step one, spray. And it shows you. Step two. All right. 
here's where it comes. Okay. There's your spray bottle. Do you see it? There is your spray bottle. That thing is not, it's the size of my thumb. A little over than my thumb, but it is the size of my thumb. Even if you needed a little um, place to be shaved, they put it in there and then you spray it like this. I, mm, okay. Then it says to use both thumbs and twist, which I don't use my thumbs to twist anything. And there you got the bar of soap. Just go ahead and ooh, it, I need water. Then you have a razor. That's a one, it looks like a one blade to be totally honest. Then you go and you have another. There's your spray bottle. It does say that if you want, that you can buy refills at some refills packs available online and at select retails. Okay. Designed with love in loss in this. So, yeah. So, there you guys go. I thought it was funny. I've laughed. Designed with love in L.A. So this was designed and and made in Los Angeles, California. So, yeah, just to let you know. I thought it was funny. My mom's like, oh, well, you could use this. Your husband can use it on his face. Um, nah. Uh-uh. My husband would not. Two single blade razors. Single blades equal less clogging. Great for most sensitive areas. Or sen oh, sensitive skin and areas. Mm, the unnamed areas. Just say, just to give you a little, a little. Oh, oh, okay. We do have some Christmas, and we have one thing. I was like, oh, type thing. So we'll start with the Christmas, and we'll go with the decoration. And it is one of these. They had the skeleton guy um, for Halloween. But they have Santa. Hi, Santa. How you doing, Santa? Because they have Santa Claus. And you have Elf. Zach always calls him Buddy the Elf. So we have the Elf. And to go on, all this is wood themed. Um, I did not remember these, or I do not remember these from last year. So I went ahead and picked it up. It is from Crafter Square. Excuse me, guys. Um, three pieces, wooden words. Believe. There's two packages here. So believe and let it snow. Now, I had the other packs last year, like the truck, the star, everything else. So I still have all them. So I did not pick any of them up. I did pick up a little thing of Santa's, and I think he's in my Christmas tote. Alrighty, uh, these are wood words and they're banners. There's three of them in here as well, and they say Merry Christmas. And I got two of them. So I got two of each of these of the wood stuff, and here's why. The wood stuff goes quick. The Christmas stuff goes quick. The Halloween stuff goes quick. I keep checking at the Arbor one because the Arbor one has been slow lately on putting stuff out. So I go there to make sure of stuff. Like, they don't even have any of their Thanksgiving stuff out. That is how weird this is on them. Alright, so the next thing I, I had gotten, and I got two pack of each of these. They are also wood. These are the wood shape, and these are eight pieces. You get the little Christmas tree, so I ended up picking up two. The wood shaped. I'm gonna call him a snowman. It could be a snow woman. It could be a. But being what the hat looks like, I would more say snowman. And I end up getting two, and there are also eight in there. And then these, what I thought would go very quick, 
So I went uh, ahead and grabbed two packs of these. Now on any of these, I was thinking if you painted them or decorated them, put a little uh, a screw thing on them, you could put them as bangles. That's the size that I, I think the perfect size. Uh, the next thing I had were wood shapes, and they're eight piece. But guess what? I do apologize. They are the little angels. Um, the of course you know that they feel like foam. I don't want to open them yet, but they feel either foam or or paper is the wings. I want to call them. I want to call them paper. My AF thing is just out of whack right now. Alright, then I bought, just bought another thing of like the, this one that I wanted to show you guys. Remember I said I sent one to a friend? Well, I went back and got me a red one. And more of the little ones that hang. Now, this is what I thought was oh, amazing, shocking. I ended up getting two of each. Let me get them out here. And you guys are going to crap. Are you ready? I had not seen them. I haven't seen anybody haul these. I don't think they're supposed to be out yet. To be totally honest, I would think more of these would be out just because of the colors would be for spring. And if you guys have seen these, let me know. Because I hadn't seen these ones. I'm going to do three at a time. Like, I'm not going to show you the doubles. I'm just going to do the three. Gnome ribbon look at them look how cute they are okay so there's them two or three so you got the little gnomes and then the gnome with their house and then the bigger gnomes then you have yep i don't know if there's any more than this but i wiped them out i mean Sorry, but when I like something and then I go back to find it and somebody did the same thing to me, I'm going to do it right back. So look how cute them are, right? So to be honest, and I will fix my blurry in just a minute. Yeah, I'm so bad. Okay, there we go. That is all that I actually purchased at the Dollar Tree as of right now. But I do have one other thing I want to show you before I leave. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't been doing a lot of crafting, like I said, um, dealing with the sale, everything else. Um, the last person has paid me. Um, she had told me she was going to pay, and she did it perfectly, and told me that you know she was going to pay. And can I wait until the twenty fourth? And she was like spot on that, and I do appreciate her for getting in touch with me before my sale and letting me know that. Um, I still, like I said before in the last one, I still have one uh, person that flaked, which is fine. I'll just resell it. You guys get the deals. All right. So, when I was doing the gnomes, you guys know that Zach likes <laughs> doing, uh, he wants every single one of my gnomes. And I'm like, you can't have every single one of my gnomes. So, I went ahead and I bought it. You know, I made him one, right? So, I made him this one. Guys, see, that's how good my stuff is. You can just wag it around and it's good. Um, so I went ahead and got him that. That's his. Everything else. Yes, it's still on my table. Why is it still on my table? Because he has no place to put it. I have no idea why he wanted it. And then I was making fun of him. And he's like, Mom, can you make me a reindeer one? I said, a reindeer one? He goes, yeah. I was like, oh. Huh. All right, I'll try. Well, do you think I could find any brown socks anywhere? No. Um, I could have did material, but he wanted it that night. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go ask your grandma. She always has stuff. So <laughs> my mother goes, here, take this. So then I have a reason to get rid of this shirt. I was like, okay. So I went ahead and cut it out. Now, the hat to me when I first started it, before I actually turned it into a reindeer. It reminded me of the Harry Potter um, hat. The Oh, come on. 
the are you kidding me i can't i can't even think about it i can't the place is the house the place is the kids in the house that's what it reminded me of at first okay but then this happened so meet rudy the gnome yep after the fact he said to me hey mom i want rudolph Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Boop. Now, can anybody tell me what this is? Down below, let me know how I made the nose. You tell me. We'll see how many people get it right. All right. So, yep. So, then these are... These were at the Dollar Tree. And, um... Like, it, they were at the Halloween area. I should actually get, pick up a couple more. Um, just in case somebody else wants one. But I had to make it as hard. This hat is not like... It's it's like that um, spandex material. So it is a little harder to work with. So I was like, oh no. And there's a little bit of glue on it. I, guess what, guys? He doesn't care. He loves it just because mommy made it. Now, this looks like a mess. But the reason why... Is because I wanted the, if I didn't, this would have been flat. So, yeah. So, that is a, a stick. But I just thought he was too cute for words. When I first thought it, I was thinking ZZ Top. I'm telling you. And I went ahead and used one of these for the bottom. And he is very light. Like, very light. But he does have beans in him. Um, I've noticed that if I use the bottle instead of thing, they last longer and I can glue the beans so you don't hear them. Some you may hear because they come off and whatever. But guys, I just thought I'd show you and give you a, a Dollar Tree haul. It was a pretty big Dollar Tree haul with a project share. So guys, uh, grateful that you are my YouTube family and that you come back each and every time. There are a select people that do every single time, and I do appreciate it. Guys, until next time, if you have any questions or concerns, or would like just to talk to me if I'm not able to make videos, you can get me on my Instagram. My Instagram is now the same as my YouTube uh, channel. Just go ahead to Instagram because I don't know how to link it, but there should be a link somewhere in my bio or something. That shows it, but it's not crafty mom and son. It, I actually got it to say Sabrina slash mismatch crafter. So that's just a key point. If you guys want to find me, um, it's easier to get a hold of me. Sometimes my email does not work correctly.